I'm Peter from Field Archery and Cut and today I'm going to be looking at a Tolkien Troll uh, 52 inch AMO Rico. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Tolkien don't make the Troll anymore, which is in my mind a real shame. Uh, this is a stunning uh, little bow. But then again they do make a 54 inch and a 56 inch longbow, so maybe that's the problem. Uh, but yeah, the, this is oh, six, seven, eight years old, I can't remember now, it's a friend of mine. It's, um, a friend of mine. Uh, when you purchase your first bow from Tolkien um, Traditional Archery, uh, you get this uh, lovely Thunderhorn soup stringer, and you get this stunning little uh, leatherette bag for the two-piece. It is a two-piece bow bolt system, after I've shot the, um, some arrows, I'm going to uh, take it apart so you can see it. This one is uh, Mango Veneers, and actually the best thing to do is if I just show you. Right. Uh, this is it's like, um, stunning mango veneers. That's the bottom tip, bottom knock. Uh, Red Coke Bolo and Makata Riser. Look at the work that goes into that. And you can barely see the, the, the join on that two piece system. Uh, fantastic hand placement. I mean it's so positive the locator. You know, palm swell, thumb grip. There's your red coca bolo there and your Makata. Um, the glue lines are stunning. And that say that mango veneer. Unfortunately the naked eye is a lot better than the and I think the light's reflection off it. Look at that top knock. Right. Uh, this is 40 at 28, uh, and because they don't make it anymore, uh, the only bit of on their website, the only bit of information I could find was uh, that it draws up to 28. Um, so if you've got a 28 and a half inch or 29 inch draw, don't, even if you could, you, they, 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 would, they would advise you not to buy one. Uh, whereas their 54 inch Pika goes out to 28 and a half, um, I think even 29 at a push. And the 56 inch bike that goes 29 230. I think it's 28 and 29, but you know. Uh, anyway, so this was maximum draw length of uh, 28 inches. Uh, this is 40 at uh, 28. Um, so 52 inch AMO. So consequently, I don't, can't remember what the brace height is. I've got a funny feeling it's actually only 7 inches, but I couldn't find anything on the website. I mean, it might be there and I was missing it. But at the moment, this is set out. This is uh, seven and an eighth. It must be postgres somewhere. Um, uh, the poundage, got that set at set at had that set at twenty eight. Pretty sure this is uh, was uh, tillered for Mediterranean. Uh, but I've shot it in the past um, three under. It didn't seem to affect it that badly. Again, only for making a video. Right, so. Oh. Again, I'm not sure. I think they're bamboo core, but I could not find anything on the website. This is saying it's. It's just over 41 apparently on my scopes. And as always, best out of three. I might be putting over an eighth of an inch. I'm, st I'm still getting 41. Last one. I don't believe bows can gain power, so I just suspect it's the scales. Forty and a half that time. I think that's more like it. Right, so forty at twenty-eight. And again, I went through the website. I don't think that there is a min. Uh, right, I couldn't see a minimum arrow weight, but they do recommend a minimum of nine to ten grains for tuning purposes. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure the guy who was Boris, I'm sure when I'm sure when he checked it, they, I'm sure they told him it was um, a minimum of eight grains. But I'm only going to go down to the the, the nine GPP. It's not my bow, um, so I'm going to go down to the minimum nine GPP. Uh, so it's forty grains worth, which would be three sixty. I'm going to be shooting at three sixty two for once. Right, uh, as usual, some of the heavy arrows. This is um, a 250 spine, 150 insert, and a 250 pile, so total weight of 700 grains. Mm -hmm. 141 feet per second, and I'm going to put my glove on, which I forgot to do. It's an eight strand string, which is why I felt that. Uh, so 700 grains, 40 pound bow, 141 feet per second. As I said, it's a damn shame they don't make them anymore. All right, next one. Um, another 250 spine, 100 insert, 315 grain pile. Uh, total weight of 710 grains. I came out sideways, I did something wrong there. Oh no, the other one did. Okay, 130. I might have been a bit short. Right. Three forty spine, three hundred grain um, pile, hundred and fifty insert, total weight of seven hundred and six grains. Right. I'm gonna do three under now because I seem to have a bit more control over that. So that's good. That is 26, that is 27. That is 28. More like it. There you go, 142 feet per second. Actually, I've got to go and shoot another one now, haven't I? Because, you see, when you actually get it back to 28. Oh, that's good. I think the first shot was okay. So that last one was uh, 340 spine, total weight of 706. Uh, this is 710 grains. I'm going to shoot this again. So 142. 140. I think I only got 137. 140, that's more like it. Uh, right, 340 spine. Uh, 100 grain uh, insert, 300 pile, uh, total weight of 662 grains. Remember, 40 pound bow. Last one was 140. Hundred and forty eight and I know I'm getting to there, I can feel the string coming off. So 148 feet per second with a uh, what did I say? Spring. Uh, 662 grain arrow. Right. Uh, 400 spine. 150 insert. 250. So 250 bar, 150 insert, uh, 651 grain total weight. 40 pound bow. 40.5 or whatever it is. Last one was 148. And 146. Again, I'm, I'm, I can actually feel the content now. I'm getting good shots. So, what is this? so 146 feet per second with a 651 grain arrow out of a 40 pound bolt. Uh, this is 140. Uh, 100 grain insert, 200 grain bolt, 554. Don't you And again, I know I'm getting to there, 157 feet per second. Uh, when I say that is for, that is a 554 grain arrow, 40 pound bow, 157 feet per second. You can't hear anything, there's no vibration, no sound. It's just a dead in the hand bow, it's lovely to shoot. I'd like to shoot a left-handed one one day. Um, right, <laughs> sorry. Uh, 500 spine, 150 insert and... Uh, 200 pole, so total weight of 571.
157 feet per second. That's what I just got. Didn't I? 157. I've already seen, yeah, 157 with a 571 grain arrow. Like, this is a um, 500 spine, 100 grain insert, 175 bolt, total weight of 497. Hundred sixty six feet per second with a uh, what did I say? Uh, Four hundred ninety six. So just under five hundred grains. Forty pound boat. Hundred sixty six feet per second. And look, at, and I'm 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 floating around. It's twenty seven off twenty eight, twenty seven off twenty eight. It's not it's not very precise. I'm sure with a clicker. Um, of course, a right handed archer would do a much better job. Uh, this is. The lightest one, this is a um, 500 spine, standard 14 grain insert, uh, alley insert, 150 pole, 362 grains. Um, so I will not be going over the 28, which you shouldn't do anyway, but also it means if I'm shooting 27 and a half, I'm, the, the GPI goes out. Well. So, last one was 173. This is, uh, what's that, 362. Hundred and eighty five feet per second, uh, and I suspect I was a caught an inch short because I, I was yeah, it's hard to tell. I'm in I'm in the I'm in the vicinity of the uh, twenty eight inch. Uh, more than likely just under. But again, hundred and eighty five feet per second you can't hear a thing. Um, there is no vibration. This is a, a stunning bow. Uh, as I said, apparently the 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 the, um, the Tolki people are really really nice to deal with if you look at those glue lines they're, they're, as, they're, they're as good I mean it's it's there are fancier bows out there but just for fit and finish they're, they're I don't think you'll go wrong with a Tolkien bow I'll put all the uh, correct information and those mango veneers with road cooker bow overlays are absolutely stunning and again but not being funny once you uh, once you hold that bow, you really can't see this two-piece takedown. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. So that is the uh, Tolkien Troll, unfortunately discontinued, uh, from Field Archery Uncut.